Hi there, you have PS5 controller and you're looking for a way to connect it with your iPhone or iPad. If so, this is the video for you. First up, now before you go ahead and pair your PS5 controller with your iPhone and iPad, first make sure your iPad and your iPhone is up to this at least you are running 14.5 or later. Afterward, all you want to do is make sure your PS5 controller has enough charge to play the role on. At the same time, make sure your PS5 controller is not being connected with your any other device. Now, let's begin the process. Alright guys, now back to process, the first things you want to do with your PS5 controller is to press this uh, PlayStation button and the share button together and keep it holding unless you see that your colors start flickering all around your screen. Now after you see your colors start flickering, now go ahead and grab your iPhone or iPad and then all you want to do is just go ahead and open up your settings. Now scroll down to your Bluetooth, turn it on and wait for this device to be appears. Now as you guys can see the DualSense wireless controller, go ahead and tap it on. And as soon as you do it, it will be connected. All right, guys. Now, if you have successfully paired or connect your PS5 controller with your iPhone, well done. But if you don't, or if you just get this pop-up while you are connecting your PS5 controller with your iPhone, then don't panic because you simply can fix this error just in a moment, okay? Now, to fix this error, the first things you want to do, just go ahead and forget your PS5 controller just by typing forget this device. After that, now go ahead and grab a resector or something like that just to give a reset on your ps5 controller now let me just go ahead and grab it here and then on the back of your ps5 controller right here as you guys can see a little tiny hole right here now go ahead and place it in there to give it a hard reset okay now just go ahead and place it in and press it around five seconds and after five seconds later take it out and likewise do the same process again Press and hold your PlayStation button and share button together. Wait until you see that color flickering. Let me leave it here. And then turn up your Bluetooth. And turn it back on. And see whether your device gets paired right here or not. Now after you see this, go ahead and tap your uh, PS5 controller. Well done, now it says it's connected, now you'll be able to play with your PS5 controller, with your iPhone or iPad, it doesn't really matter which one you really want to play with. Now let's go ahead and do a little bit of game of uh, just to check whether it's working or not. Alright guys, so as you guys can see right now, we are playing the games flawlessly, we don't really have no more problem with your PS5 controller. Alright guys, so this is how you can pair your PS5 controller with your iPhone and iPad, and at the same time, if you're having any problem with it, you can fix it as well. I hope this video is useful, if so, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to get more useful video content for yourself. Thanks for watching and see you next time.